guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to do a handbag collection um, video. These are This is also one of those videos that I like to watch just to see what other people have and to see if it's something that I need in my collection or it's just really cute. So I'm going to break it up into um, designers and then no names. So the first designer I'm going to start out with is Dooney and Burke. And the first ever Dooney and Burke I ever got was this one. And so it's just this cream colored with multicolored DBs right there. Their logo, Dooney and Burke there. It's got the handle, um, buckles right there. And it's pretty cute, just small. That was my first one. My second one was this one right here. It's just black with this heart design. It's got the Dooney and Burke there. Some leather tassels. It's flat on the bottom. So this is my second one. Next is this one that I got from my high school graduation. And the strap also has the buckle. It's a sort of denim material and color on it. And it's got the hearts that say Dooney and Burke. It's got their classic duck logo. And so there's there's that one. The next one you would have seen in my What's in My Purse video. And that's this one. And it's got the buckles on the back, buckles in the front. It's got the leather tassels on both sides. It's got the shorter handles, but it also has a shoulder strap. So there's this one. And this one I got for Christmas. Is this one. This one was my mom's. And she let me borrow it and I have never given it back. This also has the buckle strap. And it's just this cream colored bucket bag. It's got the leather tassels here too. And you just dress it up. So there's that one. Next is this one. This was also my mom's. It looks like this. And it's got the, it's also material design, or material, material on it. <laughs> And it's got the leather tassels here. And this is pretty big. So there's that one. Next is this crossbody one. That looks like this. It's also got some straps here. And you can adjust the, the straps on here. And... So here's this one. It's, this one is a coated material, so it's like weatherproof. And you've got the pocket right here. And then you've got the zipper pocket. So there's this one. Next is this other crossbody one. And you can also adjust the strap and this has it's a nylon material so it's also weatherproof and you've got their duck logo and I like the inside of this one because it's a really hot neon pink it's showing up kind of red in the camera but I promise you it's like a hot neon pink so there's this one Next is this little, this little one, and this is a material also, 
And this is just a little bag to put your phone, some, your keys, some cash, your cards, when you don't want to lug around your big purse. So here's this one. Next is this little um, clutch bag that I got for my 18th birthday. The rest of these were just kind of random gifts um, from people, but there's some I remember the exact occasion I got them for. And this, so this one was my 18th birthday for my aunt. And I use this sometimes as a wallet or sometimes just as a clutch. And the inside looks like that. The very last Dooney and Burke thing I have is a wallet. And here's the wallet. It's just this um, red croc leather material and it's got their duck logo. It's got their zipper in the back. And it just looks like this. So that is all of my Dooney and Burke stuff. Now moving on to my Michael Kors bags. The first one that I'll show you is this one. Now this is the studded Selma in the color coffee. So you got the Michael Kors thing right here. I've got studs all the way around it. It's got the feet at the bottom and you've got the short handles. It also came with a shoulder strap but I don't have that on here. Oh, it's right here. And the inside just looks like that. So I love 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 this one this one is like a really classy bag it's really dressed like dressed up and so I use this like as a professional bag so there's that one the next the next Michael Kors one this one this one was my first one and it's just a tote Looks like this. This is in the vanilla color and it has the tan handles. And it's pretty big. It's a it's a large tote. And this one my mom got me. Um, I can't remember the occasion for this one, but this was the bag that started my Michael Kors addiction. This one right here. The next Michael Kors bag I bought off of Amazon myself, and it's this one. And this is in the color um, black and beige. Ooh. This also has the feet at the bottom. It's got the MK all over it. It's got their emblem here. It's got black leather straps. The inside has this compartment, a middle zip, and this one. And this is like my go-to bag. This is the one that I find myself using a lot more than the rest of my bags. Um, I always say if I were, if I were one of my purses, I'd be this one. So there's that one. Michael Kors thing I have is my wallet, which looks like this. So there's Michael Kors there. It's got a back pocket. It just looks like this on the inside. And this is just in that cream vanilla color. And I got this at TJ Maxx for $50, actually. And so there's that. Now. Moving on to my Ivanka Trump. I also got this at TJ Maxx. Looks like 
this. Got the feet. And it's a very structured bag, but it's not very big for me anymore. I kind of outgrew it. But I keep it because I love this style of bag. I absolutely love this style. Inside has this material in it. It's like gold with her logo. And I believe I paid um I believe I paid sixty dollars for this at TJ Maxx. And it was like originally over a hundred and something. So there's that one. Uh, moving on to my Kenneth Cole. I got this one at Costco a few years ago. And it's just a very slouchy hobo bag. And it's got this really soft buttery leather all over it. So you have this strap here. It's got some studding on it. You've got the shoulder strap which you can adjust. And the inside is just this gray material. So there's that one. I have the I have the wallet that matches that Kenneth Cole purse and it's this one. And it's also the soft buttery it's also the soft buttery leather. And you just open it like this. Got these you have a middle zip and then you have this front closure and it's back closure. So it's almost like a clutch also because it's a very, very big wallet. It holds a lot. It can even hold my phone too. So there's that. Moving on to my Marc Jacobs purse. I got this for my 20th birthday. And it's just a nylon material and it's a just like a little shoulder bag. And it says Marc Jacobs. Mark Jacobs there. It opens like this and you have a big, big inside pocket and then it also has the zipper on the flap which opens into a bigger pocket. Uh, my dream Mark Jacobs purse is the classic Q Yukita. I believe that's the name. Uh, I believe that's the name of it. I absolutely love that bag. Um, it is not within my budget right now, but I would love, 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 love to own that one day. So there's my Marc Jacobs. The next one is my Fossil bag. This looks like this. It has Fossil key, um, key lock there, and then it has the key on the side with this and this I got in Vegas with my aunt when I graduated high school and it's just this brown leather and the inside is just looks like that so there's my fossil bag now my fossil wallet is this one and it just says like love and a whole bunch of different languages and then it says fossil in the back and the red leather it's got the zipper it opens like like so so there's that um moving on to my Ed Hardy bag which is this one it's a tote also Now it's um, also like a nylon material and it's got the Ed Hardy by Christian Adagier. It's got the, the Black Panther with the roses and it says love kills slowly. Um, this is like one of my all time favorite bags. Uh, my mom found this for me off of, I can't remember what website she got it but I got it for Christmas a few years ago and I absolutely love it. Ed Hardy is one of my favorite brands ever. I always say if I could have one brand for the rest of my life, it would be Ed Hardy. I have quite a few things from there. And so this bag, I absolutely adore it. 
And this is the one I'm using right now. I don't know if you can see it's got all my, all my stuff in it. So there's that one. Now moving on to my Mossy Oak purse. I got this off of a, I think it was like something all camo.com. And it says Mossy Oak there. And it's, this part is like a cottony material. And then this is a faux leather part, which is super soft and buttery. And so it's just a hobo bag. And it's got the zipper in the back. This actually holds a lot of stuff. I switched between this one and my Michael Kors one that I showed you before. These two are like my all-time go-to bags because they can hold so much. And they both fit my personality. The Michael Kors is like my business, um, business casual or something side. And this one is my western cowboy style. So I love this one. I paid like $30 for this. So there's that. And then moving on to the bag that you saw in my collective haul, which is just this one. It's got the camouflage design on it, the faux leather straps. This is also a very big bag and it's also the concealed carry purse. And inside just looks like that to my Fox Racing brand purse is this one. It is so bright that my camera may not pick it up very well. But it's just like a really neon yellow green color. And it's got the Fox emblem there. And it says... Ooh, it just says something on the back there. I can't read it. It's in Roman numerals. And the bottom has this type of feet. They're like spikes. And it has a little scarf on the front. And the straps is what I fell in love with. Is that they're braided. I love the braided straps so much. And this is also like a really soft buttery faux leather. I love it so much. And it holds the inside it doesn't hold very much so this would be perfect as like a travel bag and I also have the matching wallet which you saw in my what's in my purse so it's got the fox head there zipper in the back it just opens like this now moving on to my no name bags so the first no name bag I have is this one that I got from JCPenney and it's, I got this because it's like that mulberry bag style. Um, I would also love to own a mulberry bag, but I am not going to pay thousands and thousands of dollars for a mulberry bag. I'd rather pay 20 bucks for a knockoff look than the actual thing. So it's got the shoulder strap. It's got this strap here, little buckle, a zipper. And it's got two pockets on the sides bonds like that and what I love about it is the interior is it's a plaid on the inside I love that so much and this is by the brand call it spring I say it's a no brand because it's not a designer bag it's just a normal JC Penny bag but I still love it and it's got a zipper in the back too so there's that one. My very last no-name bag is the one that you saw also in my collective haul, which is my H&M fringe bag. Which just looks like this. It's just a fringe in the saddle brown. And you've got a little arm strap. And then you got your shoulder strap here. And I love this also for like for travel. If I don't want to lug around my bigger purse, I'll just throw some things in here. The last two things I'll show you are my no-name wallets. The first one is this skull one. 
It's got these skulls on it with a rose, roses all over it. And what I love is that one of them has eyes, just this one. And I got this off of Etsy like a while ago, and it's just a cottony material. And I actually really love this one. It's actually a really nice wallet. And my last no-name wallet is this camouflage one with this pink trim. And this one I got, um, I got at Cabela's, actually. And it just looks like this. Got your change purse, slots. And so, yeah, that is all of my handbags and my wallets. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe and give this a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more videos and let me know which let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments. My social medias will be in the description box. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.